So another problem we can have is, let's say the horse is all the way in and getting pretty confident. And if I'm by myself, I might have a long, like a lunge line on the horse so that once I come out the escape door, let's say I walk on, they follow me on for treats, I get here, I go under, the horse is here, but not confident enough that I can just leave and they'll stay in. <clears throat> so from here, if I have a long lead rope, <clears throat> I should be able to step out of the trailer and still have a hold of the lead rope while I come back here and pet the horse on the butt. That's how I would do it by myself. If I had a friend, I might have my friend hold the lead rope, communicating with me about how the horse is feeling, while I start to move around behind the horse. Because just the movement, right? If I have somebody holding the horse at that end, or I have a long rope to hold the horse, just stepping up here behind the horse into the blind spot can send them shooting back out and get scared. So again, I want to simulate all of this kind of moving around. I want to be always on one side or the other of the entrance. I always expect a horse at any minute can come shooting out, even if they're calm. So I never want to put myself here, right, and grab the butt bar and stand here because if they get nervous, I'm going to get flattened, right? So when I go, if I have a nervous horse, my friend is holding the head or I'm holding the head, I'm just going to start by wiggling the butt bar. And this can be a big deal for some horses because they know once that butt bar is up, there's something more solid and it can trigger a little bit of panic because now they feel trapped, right? So the butt bar by itself can become a really big deal with trailer loading. So I can play with the sound of the butt bar, number one. I can move the butt bar, but sometimes the horse is really panicking and no matter how much you practice, they're gonna try to back out right through that butt bar. So another safety issue would be to take a soft rope and all I'm gonna do is toss the rope here, right? So when I need to, yeah. Yeah, so I can have it here. Let's, let me think, I've got the horse in the trailer. Nope, I need it on this side because that's where the butt bar is. So I'm just gonna hook this rope. I'm not gonna snap it on anything. I could snap it on one side, but even that I don't feel safe about. I'm running it through the little keeper where the butt bar sits, the metal, um, the metal brace. And then I'm gonna just have this here. So now my horse is in, I'm holding the lead rope or my friend's holding the lead rope and I need to simulate the butt bar. So then what I'm gonna do is take the rope and start lifting it from one side, rubbing the horse with it. If they start to back through that, I can tap with my hand like I showed with Prima, go forward, the gray horse, and that teaches them not to lean on the butt bar, not to blow through it. But if they have a habit of it, I'm going to use a rope like this or from here, right, I can just sort of drape the rope across and if they push on it, they're going to feel the rope against their butt, but it's going to give way. And a lot of people will think that that teaches a horse to push through the pressure of the butt bar. But the only way a horse is going to push through the pressure of the butt bar is if they have a high level of fear. What simulations do with a soft rope that gives way is the soft rope, even if I wrap it around here, that sort of simulates the butt bar. So when they touch this, they should go forward again. They should feel it as a boundary and take a step forward. But if they're truly in fear, they feel this confinement behind their butt and they keep on pushing. That's a panic response to being confined. So if I just use a rope, they're gonna push and it's gonna open and give. And like you saw with the demonstration on Rafalco, I can just allow them to come out. I don't want them to feel trapped. I want them to feel confident. So going through something soft takes away the panic aspect and they learn to feel something on their hind legs. 
and they'll push against it as long as they're in fear that rope needs to give way. Once they're out of fear, they're going to respect the top of the hand to go forward or if I dally this around here and have just a little bit of resistance when they push on that, that little bit of resistance should send them forward again. Right? So I'm not really pulling hard. I'm just putting, like they have to really put more effort into pushing that rope out of the way. And until that works, you're really not safe to put up something solid. And I've had big horses that bent butt bars in half or came out underneath them. And you think they're not going to fit. But they will, they can fracture their pelvis, they can hurt their back, they can flip over, they can get stuck and wedged underneath the butt bar. So it's very important that they're confident. And if they can't respect something soft like that and not push through it, then I wouldn't put up something solid.